Hey, hey, hey. I got a request to do a brow tutorial. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that. So I actually have this side done here. I do not have this side done. I don't spend a lot of time on my brows, but um, I think it's a super important thing to do, especially as you get older and as we kind of get washed out with the color of our hair and the color of our skin tends to get a little bit washed out. It's a nice way to frame your face and add an element of structure. So even Bobby Brown recommends, ladies, when you get to your 40s, the one and only thing you should be doing, your brows. So if you've never tried doing them before, give them a try. I honestly never did my brows until I turned 37. And I remember it, like how people talk about how JFK died. Because <laughs> I'm like, it was that impactful in my life. I mean, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I remember exactly the day where I, where, where I was, what, what the car I was driving. I'm like looking in the rearview mirror like, oh my God, I can't believe I've never done my eyebrows before. So I think the most important thing for a successful eyebrow situation is the tool. Now, I'll tell you the first thing. I hate buying makeup brushes because it's like, all right, I already spent God knows what on the product. And now I have to spend double on a tool. But I'm telling you, it's like trying to paint a room with no paintbrush. So you kind of need it. This tool is fantastic. This one's by EcoBrow. I love this um, angled brush, which is what you'll see on most brow brushes. Um, and then the other side has a spoolie. But I've had this for a while. I mean, you can pr try any type of brush. Um, and then the shape of my brow actually fits this exact size. See how it like touches the top and touches the bottom? So I may use this a little bit unconventionally, but um, it works for me. And this is the My Sappho Brow Pomade. I'm in love with this product. There's a ton of product in this jar. I've been using this for probably about a year now and I feel like I've barely made a dent. I think this is probably gonna last me to 2050. I'm gonna be like 85 and be like, hey friends, let's do a brow tutorial. I've had this brow product since 19, oh my God, it's 2020. Does anybody still write 19 something on their checks? No, because nobody writes checks. I think I'm probably the only one who still actually writes a check. Anyways, I digress. So all I do is just put this fat side of the brush on my brows like that. And that's all I do. I just like to create kind of like a nice cast a shadow. I don't actually like the look of like drawing in brows. And then I just kind of run it to the back. Um, and then I just buff it out. This is the color taupe gray. I love this shade. It's great for people who have gray hair. It's also great for people with Asian coloring or for people with blonde hair because it has absolutely no red undertones in it. It has, um, you know, a cool finish and it's a great match for people who are looking for a little bit um, more of a, like, no reds, which I feel like a lot of brown or even some black, you know, brow products do just tend to have like red undertones. So that's it. I mean, how simple is that? Literally just apply like this, drag it to the back, buff it out. That's it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, happy to answer. I'm here for you always. Love and good eyebrows.